Southgate condemns unforgivable racist abuse of England trio. Gareth Southgate described the racist online abuse directed at some of England's players after the Euro 2020 final defeat to Italy as unforgivable. Buke Osaka, Marcus Rashford and Jadon Sancho were all targeted by abusive posts in the wake of their missed penalties in the shootout. Figures within the sport, from the government, and even the Duke of Cambridge were united in their condemnation for the abuse, and Southgate said, for some of them to be abused is unforgivable really. I know a lot of that has come from abroad, that people who track those things have been able to explain that, but not all of it. It's just not what we stand for. We have been a beacon of light in bringing people together in people, being able to relate to the national team, and the national team stands for everybody, and so that togetherness has to continue. We have shown the power our country has when it does come together and has that energy and positivity together. We heal together as a team now and we're there for them and I know that 99% of the public will be as well. Bukayo in particular has been an absolute star in this tournament. He has shown incredible maturity and in the way he has played has brought a smile to so many people's faces. He's become such a popular member of the group and I know he has got everybody's support. Arsenal released a statement stating their pride in how Saka had represented his club and his country during the tournament, which had turned to sorrow when witnessing the abuse the 19-year-old suffered. We are sad to have to say we condemn the racism of a number of black players, the statement said. This cannot continue, and the social media platforms and authorities must act to ensure this disgusting abuse to which our players are subjected on a daily basis stops now. We have processes in place internally at Arsenal to ensure our players are supported both emotionally and practically on this issue, but sadly there is only so much we can do. Our message to Bukeo is, hold your head high, we are so very proud of you, and we cannot wait to welcome you back home to Arsenal soon. I am sickened by the racist abuse aimed at England players after last night's match. It is totally unacceptable that players have to endure this abhorrent behaviour. It must stop now, and all those involved should be held accountable. W. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, at Kensington Royal, July 12, 2021 The Duke of Cambridge, who is president of the Football Association, said he was sickened by the abuse. It is totally unacceptable that players have to endure this abhorrent behavior, he wrote on Twitter. It must stop now, and all those involved should be held accountable. Prime Minister Boris Johnson, Home Secretary Pridey Patel and Culture Secretary Oliver Dowden all condemned the abuse, but former England defender Gary Neville criticized Johnson's leadership. Told Sky News, I'm just reading your breaking news, and it says the PM condemns racist abuse of England players. Gareth Southgate and the players a few weeks ago, about five days on the trot, told us they were taking the knee to promote equality, and it was against racism. The Prime Minister said it was okay for the population of this country to boo those players who were trying to promote equality and defend against racism. It starts at the very top. I wasn't surprised in the slightest that I woke up to those headlines, I expected at the minute that the three players missed. Neville's former England and Manchester United team mate Rio Ferdinand highlighted that the players who missed would have been idolized by those who abused them had the result gone the other way. Immediately after the game social media platforms became the toxic and racist safe place for the ignorant and cowardly rats to start spouting their disgusting feelings, he tweeted. These same idiots only days ago would have been celebrating the brilliance of a Raheem, Sterling or a Saka or a Kyle Walker for their efforts in an England shirt. You can bet you'll last pound also that they would have sung the Raheem Sterling song almost bursting the veins in their bodies doing so. But England lose, and that joy and sense of being united immediately evaporates, and our black players become the target. Anti-discrimination body Kick It Out again called on social media companies and the government to stamp out the abuse on online platforms. We will continue to work with our partners in football to drive discrimination out of the game, but we call on those with the power to act now, its chief executive Tony Burnett said. The social media companies need to do more to stamp out abuse on their platforms, and the government also need to step up and keep its promise to regulate. The online safety bill could be a game-changer, and we aim to help make that happen. We could not be any prouder of this at England team. To set yet more racist abuse aimed at some of the England players on social media is utterly appalling and completely unacceptable. Our full statement below jipic.twitter.com et2ejrf9mu. Kick it out, at Kick it out, July 12, 2021 Former England rugby international Hugo Moni, who attended the match at Wembley, told BBC Radio 5 Live, The government don't do enough, they don't say enough.
It's hard to fix a problem until you acknowledge the problem, and at the moment you've got a lot of people unfortunately in senior positions and members of the public who deny that racism is a thing. Twitter said it had proactively removed more than 1,000 posts over the past 24 hours which violated its policy and also taken swift action to permanently suspend a number of accounts. Facebook, which owns Instagram, said it tries to remove harmful content as quickly as possible and encourage people to use the tools it offers to block abuse.